The following video is meant for informative purposes as well as bringing up discussion and debate as opposed to trolling, drama causing, or any other idiotic nonsense the internet is up to these days. Got that? Good. Now shut up and listen. This is Dissy Doo, aka Derby Hoos, aka Bubble Bud, aka one of the few sidekick dudes and cameo ponies who actually has a bit of a cult following among bronies and Pegasus sisters. So, what about her is so offensive, I ask you? Nothing! Absolutely nothing! So, why, on God's green earth, did so many people? Uh, excuse me, soccer moms getting such an uproar when she spoke. Oh, is it because she sounded like a pony with Down Syndrome? My gosh, people, what is wrong with you? I mean, we've got snails who's mentally slow, well, Ed who's downright retarded, and Patrick who's literally brainless. But many of you are gonna tell me, those characters you played your comedic effect, so you're not offensive. Yeah, sure. Actually, I just noticed something. When you have a male character who's mentally slow or stupid or clumsy, it's okay. But when you have a female character who carries any form of mental deficiency or is clumsy in any shape or form, do people just fly into a federate age and bring upon you the wrath of hell itself? Also, it's not okay for a girl to have implied mental deficiencies, but for some odd reason, it's okay to be a dumb and ditzy blonde. Well, actually, of course, seeing as how this trope has been used for years and years on end to comedic effect. Also, this is the part where human logic begins to fail me, because I can only see this being offensive if there's a stereotype of people with disabilities who act the same way as Derby Hooves does. But since I have yet to meet a single soul with Down Syndrome, Autism, or any other form of disability who carries any traits similar to Derby Hooves, outside of the lazy eye, and you don't need to have disabilities to have a lazy eye. Hell, my left eye is lazy. But still, back to my point at hand, and I really don't see how this can be offensive to anyone with disabilities, because again, I have yet to meet a clumsy person who has disabilities. Hell, me? He and uh, several other people without disabilities that I have met are far more clumsy than anyone I have met with disabilities. Which has led me to consider the theories of Ebon Blood Knight and AJC609. When, they, when they've made the statement that, that this whole issue ooh, addressing Derpy's quote-unquote implication of retardation and was orchestrated by basically brony haters. Why? Because unlike the main six of, of My Little Pony or any of the other side characters, Derpy was pretty much discovered and popularized and basically made into the character she is by us. Because we found her. In the pilot episode of season one in the scene where Pinkie Pie has thrown a party for Twilight, and we've made speculations, fan fictions, and fan art as to who this pony is. The animators and writers took note of that, and she's made a cameo ever since. Now, of course, I'm going to display my own brand of prejudices here, because as a misanthrope, this is practically my trade. But I really don't see this as being outside the realm of possibilities, as haters, one, have gone through strange lengths to try and destroy that which they hate, and two, they're not really adept at doing research on that which they hate. And I mean extensive research on top of that, because if they did, they might have taken into consideration the possibility that Miss Rogers happens to have a kid who has disabilities. So why on earth, heaven, or the unholy fiery pits of hell would she want 
to create a scenario and a cartoon meant for children where it's okay to poke fun at a child with disabilities. Especially since last I checked, I don't recall Rainbow Dash ever poking fun at Derpy's clumsiness in this scene. So again, I fail to see how this is freaking offensive. Another reason why I'm keeping this into consideration because was in a letter and Miss Rogers had sent to one of the users of Equestria Daily, link in the description. She had mentioned how the hate mail had scared her on account that she had never really intended Derpy to be offensive. You know, just a character used to comedic effect like her predecessors, Patrick Starr, Ed, Goofy, and the like. like and she had no idea that people would, you know, find it offensive towards people with special needs. Which, again, I don't get, because if it was, we would have Rainbow Dash possibly making fun of Derpy's clumsiness. And last I checked, again, people with disabilities aren't as clumsy as Derpy hooves. So, it just, it doesn't make any sense to me, no matter how hard I try to think about it. So please, viewers, I ask you, give me a well-explained, comprehensive, coherent, articulate, and intelligent answer as to how this can be offensive, and maybe I'll understand the point at hand. So with that established, do I believe several bronies, which I have yet to also see this, by the way, seem to be justified? in sending hate mail to Hasbro and the Hub for this blatantly unnecessary censorship. Well, no. Not really. Because of several other bronies like Saber Spark, Cliff M85, and Zoe Shamrock uh, have explained and, and it's really unnecessary and it would put us in a very bad light, which you know, a lot of people who have been looking to do and have been doing from the get-go because of the vocal minority of the brony fandom. But then again, given that it's the case, or that's the case with every fandom um, in the world of, of nerds, it, it's pretty much unavoidable. So we have to show them that we're better than the prejudices they place on us. And with that said, this is Demonic Rimson signing out, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a nice day.